spots. There it is. That's right. We're here, bright and early. Let's get to. Let's get it. Well, so let's, let's, let's Rebellion. Have it open this time. Oh. Close it. Let's go back on the biology class. Slither and slither and gang, sneaking like a snake. It's dark, but just I'm dedicated to my studies. That's all. It's early morning. Look outside. Dedicated to my studies. I know I look a little different than what happened in the last one. I did go do some side missions, you know. I got past some boring stuff. Do a little sneaky sneakies. Nice. You found that out. I'm curious. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. Like a, I may be like in a, a spot of trouble with the librarian. I wish I could get a much, much you see, I'm fond voice. of creating my own charms. Thought I perfected my, my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My uh, arms are so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Ooh. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. At all. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Yeah, why me to why hate did ass, Army tell me to hate, script uh, why that they were your hate ass bitch? Oh, to That's be perfectly question. honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Squinting eyes, not trusting. Hmm. Uh, I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. Oh, no. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. Ooh. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay. Look, now it's daytime. Because I waited in the hall like a reverse hall. Let's go knock this out real quick. Then we'll go to the other class. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, you... You little stinker, I had you too, and you know it. I haven't learned how to fly yet. Oh man, if I could levitate. Just 
reminds me of the hallway in uh, Dark Souls. Oh, castle, god damn it. Come on, son. So I'm stupid? There's the only other thing left flying around here, y'all. Why they trying to cheat? Why they trying to cheat me on the paper? Starting fire. I'm not gonna snitch though, don't worry. You'll put it out. Hey, she about to burn this school down, yo. That's crazy. <laughs> Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't oh. you see that? That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Cressida. Mm -hmm. Only because it was right down the street. You know me? I just collect favors from every young wizard. You never know when I gotta cash in. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Yes, Thank you. Cressida, I'll welcome. happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I yeah. certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Lose it again and I'm telling I'm telling all your secrets. Actually, I don't want you to know I know your Ugh. secrets. What am I missing? Quite appeal to me. Let's go to herbology. Herology. Oh. Oh. Going pungent onion again. Let's do it. Good morning. 
morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology the greenhouse lady right is out. knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. I'm sorry, what? Now then, today we will be acquainting so ourselves with the outside. mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. It's always the screen. Yeah. Let's see if we screaming, can't make our baby. fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> first, let's protect our ears. I don't think this is fifth year shit. This sounds like more first year shit. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it or anything, a but I see over here. Like a warm, dirty blanket, putting a the warm, mandrake dirty right blankets. Warm, dirty blanket. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Everything Yours can be fixed with a repair spell. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Creepy smile. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all dittany. get started. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Gardens at Hogwarts are. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the very idea? Very yes, idea, Professor. Indeed. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return. We live in a world of magic. It should have been it easy, so damn it! It all should have been easy. A bit of magic. They will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. I like to think of myself as my guys in the monologue and RPGs. I think Madame Figaro. It's the best way to justify you screaming at the TV, you know? I'm his inner voice. He's gonna say it with this, but this is. Disney's really restorative works. properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Done. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. They do bite. Oh. 
Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Yeah, sure. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's Sebastian. good. Sebastian. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Oh. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden wow. last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Really really My kind up. of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. Booba the kind of plants just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I'm gonna eat these young. What you mean, bro? I'm about to boil these young stuff. I love cabbage. That helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended Ooh. to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, to bite don't me, see girl. any bite marks or missing digits. And good, right. as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. What skill in the soil? Girl, I'm gonna fail at this class, so. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Herbology. But those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. My said... damned hearing. He told you to shut that up. He told you to shut that, shut that humming up, bro. That was awesome. Then you get bro a warning. Just kind of straight slugged him in the shoulder. Just. Huh! Man, 
out. To be honest, that's so far I'm going to potions class. And so far, I decided to go to potions class instead of go hang out with this girl, man. What is she doing? Are you ever going to make friends like that? Shouldn't there be auras or someone There's from the ministry guarding the school to. after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. I saw an aura band on Professor Stark's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Let's start potions class. Let's start potions class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As, As fifth it is. years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before Points today's class Ravenclaw. is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One error wow. sneeze could be disastrous. Oh, spice guy. Whoop. Bang, bang. Bang. Call me Emerald. That's all I'm saying. Call me Emerald. Come on, son. Mm. Nice chill down your spine. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Boom, I'm done. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Whoa. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me resourceful. when you finish brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Oh, I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me.
I'll get you the Fuipa feather. You know why I can do it? Shot, won't miss it. I assure sneaky you he won't. Fuipa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well-prepared ritual with a... Better. They had a scarf too. Fuck you. I'm a thief. I'm a thief. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the fourth feather you wanted. Brilliant. Wow. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Aduras potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. For oh, the Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Again. Oh, Bell. Dragon Dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Yeah. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet my expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Themselves! Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Class is dismissed because I said so.
That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Mm. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But try oh, my robes are going to reek from Garrus' inspiration for the rest of her. No, was it two pinches of Angelica? I'm out of all the way over here now. That's boring. Oh, let's begin the journey. Don't worry, y'all. I bought Cheerios. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Bro, you lying, huh? Oh my god. Oh, you poor guy. I can't help. He told you before I last time I can't do this all work. I know he did. Spiteful. I poor guy. He was not with. Let's first he hit him. I just found a broom. There's always a beast master. Or the master. Yeah, I can go faster, but what's the rush? I got no goddamn broom. Excuse you. Excuse you.
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Hollow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Me all the way Be on all your guard. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Revelio. I don't have time to argue. I told you repeatedly not to stray far but from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see the money. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio.
You gotta look clean now. Yes, I am selling all that shit. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. This is the town. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Hope to see you again sometime. I don't care what your mom goes, man. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Allow me to put you out of your misery. I <laughs> I will not be cast about I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Austin. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. 
Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Mm. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here mm. centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow because Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly on fond of puzzles and enigmas. I see that little dead eye thing going on. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. Well, we get out of I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting what the trials to be. work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the uh. centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio. Akio. Hmm. These pillars are pyres, and pyres are they meant to be lit. Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. I did that. Hey. Man, dear, how beautiful! Merlin's beard. What a day! I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? 
Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pint Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. Oh, yeah? They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is, is green. Bitch? The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Ooh. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh. 
Okay, they hit the different spots. Hit the different spots. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. My friend, Mr. Black. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope yeah. you keep diving. And 20 bucks. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Don't do that. You could hurt someone. Stop playing with the boy. Versace, 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 Versace. Versace, 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 Versace. That's how I imagine it. You know the thing they do where they just collapse into themselves? Oh 
would be like real comfortable. Scrope? Who is Scrope? What are you up to now? Accio! Revelio! That's how I feel right now. Pumpkins. Ah, I think I know just the place. Make me use my brain. Rebellion. Down to the water's edge. Hmm, this had better not be a trick. <clears throat> Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. Been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be I sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know.
Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. Oh, Scrope does not intend to undermine the headmaster. In <laughs> fact, Scrope <laughs> wants to surprise him. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Apollonia. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. That boy Scrope is missing a whole ear. Oh, poor guy. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. No, Scrope good. is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. Place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Scrope will wait right here for you. Best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. And the ring. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes.
could it be? A visitor? <laughs> ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century Sorry. ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. I'd like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, mm -hmm. perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So. I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And was cave. you see what happened was next. Was a cave. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest and I'll show you where to find the pages. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure uh -huh. to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton. They're yours for the taking. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Put the dung bog on his back. <laughs> Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able Bro, to don't... enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jack Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, 
Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. As well as I grind the blue power. Incendio. This looks intriguing. Lumos. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio.
That's it. Swans. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio. Incendio. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. Cross ones. Yes. Exactly where we're going, buddy. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. 
We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. One more shot. One more shot. One more shot. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Hello there. Tried to summon the pepper at dinner last week and got pudding in rocks and fresh lamb. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I can. I walk all the time. Back glass. Swagged out. Look at how basic, basic, basic. Boom. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Mm -hmm. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Mm -hmm. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Mm. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? Actually, perhaps another time. Hmm. Perhaps. Good to see you think things through. Oh, should you? Expel the office. You seem to have the right end of the stick. 
but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Mm. I'm so cozy, bro. Oh, yeah, I understand. Within force, watch out for chickens. Yeah, let's get this out of the way first. Then I'll find Revelio. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. Uh, You'll see. Ooh, yeah. You've been very helpful. Thank you. I'm gonna get real active today, y'all. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know. The closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Mm -hmm. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Nothing to do now but keep going. Surprisingly, as good as his word.
something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh... Jack Doors led me. There is never a risk. There is never a risk of them. I wonder how big this place is. Incendiaries must have something to do with opening this room. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. When the time up, the rooms have reset. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells found me through this. Let me see. Akio, incendiary. I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. Bodega! Accio! Incendio! Leviosa! Accio! Incendio! Akio! 
Incendio. I saw treasure. Stop. The spiked paisley hat, though. The spiked paisley hat is what they... Uh, on what side? I'm a wizard. That platform ought to be able to float straight to me. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Akio! I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind him. Where could he be? Incendio. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere.
potato. Rebellion. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Akio! Had to see why this one was looking like the road less traveled in. Found why. Careful. <laughs> I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Incendio! Ah, 
Spiders? Uh, Need my pages, brah. In sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. An untouched chest. Teratol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Rebellion. Which slots are full?
Oh, stop. Send it. Spiders. These can't be what the head of the jack. Accio. Incendio. That's fair. That's fair. I shouldn't have did that. I know I shouldn't have did that. I know I shouldn't have did that. Put these big spiders down. Let's put these big spiders down. to take my platform from me out there? Akio! Untouched chest.
wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. almost complete. More spiders. This can't be what beheaded with the jackals. Akio! Incendio! Let me open. You're a deadly great spider. Not my fault. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Give me all the spider fangs. Give me all the spider fangs. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? But where could he be? I'll need to look around for the symbol. Must be getting closer to Jack Doll's remains and those pages. There's Jack Doll looking dead as ever. What happened here? Might it happen? Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jack Doll. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room?
Seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted zone. Business suit. Come on now. Really am a slithery. Ah, ca, 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 ca. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. Sorry, it is. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place?
It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this Thanks rare you, talent. Okay. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
Okay, now we're getting into something. the dodge we need I found the pages and the map chamber why would I need the book I've always said that travel him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a book. for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Yes, sir, teacher. Revelio. Yes, sir, teacher, sir. 